What's up everybody, welcome back to another Malt Man episode. It is Memorial Day weekend and we are out at the lake. My buddy Trey got him a little houseboat he's fixing up and uh, we're gonna do some perch jerking. So we got some bread, we got some little hooks and some weights and uh, there's perch everywhere. So sorry if y'all hear a lot of noise in the background. There's literally every boat owner out here is out on their boat today. So um, y'all probably hear a little bit of background noise, but we're gonna try to get some perch for dinner. I've seen some giants. Uh, so we're gonna put the lines in the water. Oh my gosh, there goes a huge carp. You see that? Yeah, I did. I told you I heard someone calling my name. Look at that carp. So just a little piece of bread on a hook. Trey, drop it down. Let's see how long it takes. I'll chum them up for you. Just leave it right there. Oh, you're about to get smoked. Oh, you gotta let him eat it. I thought he had it. We're trying to get these big boys. We're only keeping big ones. Let him eat it. There you go. He ain't big enough. Not big enough. There's some giants in here, but that's how easy it is, guys. That's what we're going to be doing this evening. So we're going to try to fill this cooler up with some big old slab bluegill. I think it ain't too bad, actually. Nah, we can catch bigger ones. We just got to chum them up a little more. Maybe he can catch catfish. We saw a big catfish swim by earlier, so y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. I'm baiting up now. Oh. Oh, you do? We got little tiny perch hooks. I might throw this Take one a little closer to the main. And then you just drop it in. There we go. There's a big one. That'll work. That's a big That's one right there. right there. That is a big old bluegill. Going in the cooler. Bang. Huge catfish just came up and tried to eat trays. Oh, there's another big one. No. Not big enough. He's big enough, but uh, we're out here for the big juicies. Oh, man. Did you see that? What was that? I think it was a carp. Right there. Oh, dude, you had him. There we go. Big and giant. What's up? Got something big. I got a little, little rod. Oh my gosh, please don't break off. Oh He's coming up. Oh no. Don't get tangled up. He is. I'm gonna go around you. Oh no. He's off. <laughs> giant car. No, nah, I think we're good. He's hung up on a rope. Oh. There he goes. Yeah, this thing's a sure fun to catch. Yeah. This is a giant, dude. Let's go. And we 
to get him over to your dock so I can reach down and get him. Yeah, you need to get a net to keep out here. Here, I'm gonna grab the net real quick. What have you got? Let me see it. You got it? Yeah. <laughs> you want to see it? You want to touch it? You want to touch it? Yeah. That's a ugly you don't fish, it? isn't it? <laughs> she didn't know what to say. No. Big old car. We'll throw him off the front. Later, fishy. <laughs> Another one going in the cooler. That's what I'm talking about. Woo. Oh, I missed him. Still got some on. Look at that sunset. Oh, there he is. Little small, little small. No. Got another big one. Man, if they were just as big as crappie, we'd be eating good for a long time. Trey's on a jumbo. Pull him up. That's a. That's a ear. That's a frying pan fish right that there. Fish shoulders. That's a half pound bluegill. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. I, uh, me, Angel, and Ryder just got back home from church and uh, we're gonna clean up these fish. So we fished for a little longer last night, but we realized that the docks uh, that we were fishing on didn't have any lights. Uh, so I couldn't film anymore once it got dark. So I just figured I'd keep the fish on ice and wait till this morning to clean them for you guys. So I'm gonna set y'all up on a tripod real quick. We'll clean these up and we're eating fresh fish for lunch. I'm gonna show y'all how to clean a big old bluegill two ways. We're gonna do a whole recipe and then a filet recipe. So I filet them like I would any other fish. Uh, these big ones I like to filet for Ryder and Angel and then the smaller ones all clean whole, but you just want to run your knife. That's my rooster. And it's really windy out here today. But you want to run your knife down that backbone. Cut yourself really good like that. All right, so do your best not to cut your finger off. Pretty sure I got to the bone. It's pretty, pretty gnarly. So I'm gonna not do that again take my time I'm gonna go over those ribs and once you get over those ribs you just want to keep your knife blade down so you don't miss any of that meat off the bottom side of that fillet and then you just cut it off Just like that, big old fillet. Same thing on this side, go in. Once I get, once I feel my knife blade go past those ribs, I like to go all the way to the other side. And just cut through. Same thing on this side, you just wanna go slow. Work that fillet up to those ribs. And then just work up and over those ribs. Just like that. So there's no meat left on this fish. 
You can see through it. And that is how you fillet a perch. And then you take out your meat, separate it from the skin. Just like that. And that goes in your bowl. So I said I was going to show you two different ways to clean a fish, uh, a perch, but we're going to actually fillet all of them because uh, I don't want any full. So what you would do is just take the back of your knife and scale it and take all the scales off of it, cut the guts out, and then cut the head off, and that's pretty much it. It's really simple um, to clean one whole. And uh, I think they're delicious that way too, but fillets are easy and easy for the kids. There's no bones or anything to pick through, uh, but they both taste amazing. So I'm gonna finish cleaning these bluegill up and then I'll see you guys in the kitchen and we're making fresh fish for lunch. All right guys, we're gonna make fried fish sandwiches for lunch. So I got some fillets in here and we're also cooking in straight coconut oil. So we're gonna see how this turns out. The fry up. So I'm trying to be a little quiet because Ryder is taking a nap, but nothing a little super goo won't fix up. Kind of made it swollen all the way around, but uh, we're also making some chicken stock. That's done. So we got some chicken stock on and some fried fish. We're making us a little fish sandwich. Angel made up some fry sauce and uh, I'll put mustard on it too. So, fry sauce. So we'll throw a couple fillets on here. Just like that, a little bit of lettuce. I'm gonna bypass the onions. We'll go with some lime juice. Yeah. And then a little bit of mustard. And that is our bluegill fish sammy. Cut it in half. See what that looks like. All right, one out of 10 fresh bluegill sandwich. Look. Mm. Delicious. You want a bite, Ryder? Is it good? Is it good? Mmm. You want another bite? Mmm. I give that a solid uh, eight eight out of ten for fried fish sandwich. That's delicious. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I was sitting here thinking about it, and I really cannot remember the last time I cut myself filleting fish. But and I know it doesn't look very bad on here but come on focus for me it went super super deep and it bled for a pretty good while before we uh angel had some band-aids that have some like bleed stop stuff on them and it actually worked really good so once that did once that stopped the bleeding i washed it out really good and then i super glued it so um i'll be all right so I just want to let y'all know, I literally cannot remember the last time I cut myself uh, cleaning fish. You guys enjoyed it. I hope you are all having a great Memorial Day weekend. Uh, everybody pretty much has tomorrow off. So I hope y'all enjoy your Monday off. Get out, do some fishing, go catch you some perch and fry them up for lunch. But until next time, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.